of the celebration of the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let us bring to our mind our sins and ask God mercy and forgiveness so that we may become worthy to offer this sacrifice. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Son today ascended to the heavens as the apostles looked down. Grant, we pray that in accordance with his promise, we may be worthy for him to live with us always on earth, and we with him in heaven, who lives and reigns with him in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, 
after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, it is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, Suddenly, two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God mounts his throne in shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne with the showers of joy, the blood of trumpet for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King all over the earth. God mounts his throne with the showers of joy, the blood of trumpet for the Lord. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpets blast. Sing praise to God, sing praise, sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts his throne with the showers of joy, the blood of trumpets for the Lord. For King of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reign over the nation, God sit upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne with the showers of joy, the blood of trumpets for the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call, what are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones, and what is the, uh, the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe, in accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead, and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the ones to come. And he put all things beneath his feet, and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. From the, holy, from the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, 
teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, many things that we are all uh, kind of used to, like space, time, uh, distance, speed, left, right, east, west, we all know about that, right? And when we talk about them in this world, in our place, we may understand them one way, and when we travel farther in the space, they all may get different meanings. Of course, same meaning, but different scale, I would say. How many of you like to make a trip to space? To space? You like to fly, right? That's kind of a very limited. You need to go only just a bit up. Well, of course, we have people, they went to the space several times, came back. We have people who went to the, uh, to the moon, came back. We have a lot of people who are planning to go to Mars. And that's it. I don't know anybody that wants to go further than that. But we send some probes. They travel way farther than we can imagine. Like the Voyager 1 and the Voyager 2. Voyager 1 is uh, some 14 billion miles away from us. The Voyager 2 is some uh, 12 billion miles away from us traveling a speed of uh, 34,000 to 38,000 miles per hour. And for us, that's far away from us, right? It's a big distance. And the speed is way more than we can imagine. But compared to the speed of light, that speed is not much. And we think 14 billion miles is far away because those two probes are now in the interstellar space, away from our solar system. That's a big distance for us. But when we try to understand that in the terms of our galaxy, Milky Way, that's a short distance. If we try to understand that in our universe, the context of our universe, that may be less than an inch. The perspective changes. But in all that, the space or the speed or the distance, we use the principles or the rules of physics to understand it. And we say that we are going up. When we send a rocket, we say it goes up. Is it actually going up or down or to the side? It depends. If it is far away from the earth, there is no, left, there is no up or down, left or right, Again, we speak about east and west. But if you go to space, you don't have an east or west. So the terms that we use make sense to us in this present time, in this place. And they may have different meanings. And now the problem is, all those principles or rules of physical science, we try to apply to the mystery of Christ. And what happens? Make no sense. If we try to understand eternity with our rules, it may make no sense. We try to understand incarnation with our terms, it may make no sense. Like ascension going up, if we try to understand it's just like going to the space, it make no sense. Everything enters into a spiritual realm. The, the principles of our spiritual realities enters into play. And that doesn't go with the principles of our physical science that we are used to. We speak about the mountain top or the cloud. In the biblical terms, the mountain top is the place where you encounter God. And cloud is the veil or the curtain behind which you see the presence of God. Because if you see the glory of God, you are going to die. 
So the cloud kind of help you from it. That's how people understood the presence of God in the Old Testament times, the same as in this time too. We all know about the transfiguration of Christ, right? The transfiguration. Is there any relationship between the transfiguration and ascension? The transfiguration is actually, or was actually, somehow the glory of Jesus' face was revealed to a selected group of disciples, three of them. Ascension is the actualization of transfiguration in reality. The glorified body of Christ is made visible to them. And then he disappears or he is gone. But when we say he is gone, is he gone? I think the more meaningful word is like the exodus that we have in the Old Testament. Moses led the people of Israel out of the slavery from the land of Egypt. He led them to the promised land. He was the first one to walk. He walked ahead of them. And the people followed him from uh, slavery to freedom, from Egypt to their promised land. So when we say ascension, Jesus goes back to heaven to be with his father means like Moses led the people out of slavery to freedom. Jesus is taking us as the leader. He goes first and we are following him. How do we understand this ascension? What's actually the meaning of ascension? Well, we need to begin with the incarnation of Christ to understand ascension. Incarnation means taking flesh, taking a body. Jesus, the second person of Trinity, he was the only begotten son of God from eternity, was with the Father. Then God the Father makes this plan for us, for our salvation, and sends his son into this world. So from that moment of uh, God's decision to make Jesus a human being, we have Jesus, of course, that what we celebrate as the Christmas, the incarnation of uh, Jesus Christ as a human being who lives with us. Emmanuel. Jesus is one person with the two natures, God and human at the same time. So God decided to be a human being, to live with us. So from that moment of incarnation, God lives with us. But human and divine at the same time. And that Jesus goes through the suffering, the passion, the death, and the resurrection for us. The same person, but still two natures. And now it is time for him to go back to be with his father. And we say ascension. Not just the divine nature of Jesus is going back. The complete person of Christ is going back. Both the divine and the human nature, one person, he is going back to heaven. That means, the divine person, the human person, the one person of Christ who lived here with us is back to be with the Father. From the moment of incarnation, God began to live with us, one among us, like us. And now that God, that human is beginning to live in heaven. So from the moment of ascension, a human being begins to live in heaven. And that's the greatness of the, the, the meaning of ascension. What does that mean for you or for me? Well, because Jesus made his trip back to heaven, a human is in heaven, ascension of Jesus. That is the promise for you, for me, that one day I will be in heaven. One day you will be in heaven. Of course, that we don't call that ascension of a Joby or ascension of somebody. It's going to be assumption. Because ascension means Jesus with his own power, he goes up. Assumption of Mary means Jesus takes Mary 
to be with the North by her own power, but the power of Christ, she is taken up assumption. So for us, for, for every one of us, it's going to be assumption, not ascension. So Jesus is gone as our leader first one. Does that mean he's gone forever? Or gone? He's no more with us? Well, physical presence of Christ, the human physical presence of Christ is no more with us. What do we have with us now? We call it in two ways. Number one is the sacramental presence of Christ. That's what we celebrate in the Holy Eucharist. The body of Christ, the blood of Christ, again, the sacramental presence. That's the complete body of Christ. The complete person of Christ is made present in the Holy Eucharist. The sacramental presence. The number two, he is present in you, he is present in me. How? Because in the name of baptism, you became a child of God. He became a son of God, a daughter of God, an adopted son or adopted daughter of God in Jesus Christ, becoming the body of Christ, becoming a member of Christ. So Jesus is present in you. Jesus is present in every member of the church. That is his body. Your assumption, my assumption, is guaranteed upon the ascension of Christ because he came down for our salvation he went back for us his promise is that I will come back when the time comes his second coming so do we have to wait until our death for that do we have to wait until the second coming of Christ to experience our own assumption or becoming people of ascension no from the moment of baptism, we belong to the ascension of Christ. From that moment, we are called to follow Jesus in all senses. We are called to follow him in his ascension as well. So we live here now as people of ascension. We live here now as people who are supposed to live in heaven when the time comes. In other words, already we are here on earth, a food in heaven, a food on earth. We belong to him now and forever. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten of me, can substance with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us meant for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, was in God of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified and Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seen the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess from baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. May the world to come. Amen. We thank Almighty God for giving us Jesus as our Savior, and we ask Him to give us the grace so that we may continue to live with Him now and forever. That God may strengthen all who are ordained to preach, baptize, and make disciples of all the nations until the Lord returns again. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. For all who have been made ill by the coronavirus, for all who care for them, and for the governments and people of the world, 
that we may experience the healing mercy of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. That through the ascension, public servants and all people may have a deeper understanding of the dignity of each and every human person. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. For all who have never heard of the saving gospel of Christ, that through the missionaries' efforts of the church, they may hear and believe, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. That the Holy Spirit may fill and console all who suffer from poverty, war, neglect, unfair treatment, or illness, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. That all who have died may have eternal rest, and all who mourn may look forward in hope to the return of the Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. For Dean McDowell, whom this Holy Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. Governor Sister Rosane E. Wills, who passed away yesterday, that God may give her eternal peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us offer our own prayers. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. To God, the Almighty Father. And Lord, Christ, Holy Church. God, who only begat our High Priest, is seated ever living at your right hand to intercede for us, that, that we may approach with confidence the throne of grace and there obtain your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our need our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world, a Lord of hosts, he ascended nor to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people excels in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the energy hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs>
you are indeed holy alone, the powerful holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection be offered you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your hell is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Sean our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and for by divine mission, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, Save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with suffer each other a sign of peace. The Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
explode. I am not worthy, but if you can run on my roof, but only say the word, and your soul shall be healed. the gifts we have received from your all of glory kindle in our hearts the longing for the heavenly homeland and cause us to press forward following in the savior's footsteps to the place where for our sake he entered before us who lives and reigns forever and ever Amen. brother and sister of saint evers uh, delphine ignites and 
uh, she sent out, she passed away, and uh, there will be a memorial mass sometime in the future. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is said in going peace. Alleluia, alleluia. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be you him, we humbly pray. And O thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, may the power of God cast me to hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who proud through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. <laughs>